Hi, my name is Vishal and I'm a senior trainer in multimedia education. I have a 18 years of industry experience and let's get started with the video. Hello guys, I just wanted to make a tutorial on Anchor Point in Substance Painter. So uh, we have this default uh, sphere which is uh, a sample file from Substance Painter. You can open that from the open sample menu and I've deleted every layer which was already there so so that I can work from here so I'll explain you how this uh, anchor point will work before that let's create a layer okay so I will create a color and uh, I'll create a mask and in that mask I'll add a fill and uh, you have white for opaque and black for transparent so just uh, put that back to 0.5 and then what we will do is we will add a texture here okay so any procedural texture would do so I've uh, assigned a texture here now the point is if I have to create another layer very similar to that uh, I have to recreate that same thing so I'll go back and then create another layer this time I'll go and create a green color okay repeat that same thing add a mask add a fill and then choose that texture what you have uh, got now it looks uh, simple um, but let's say if uh, I have to you know uh, invert it that's that's looking good or maybe if I have to uh, change the size of this uh, design a red color I'm changing that tiles to 6 okay now what happened is uh, the change was seen on the layer 1 but uh, on layer 2 the change is not seen so I have to put that to 6 to match with that so it is not possible every time that you have this kind of controls so what you can do is whatever effect you have applied here uh, this can be referred to the next layer through anchor point and there you need not do that correction for every layer you have created you can refer the information from this to any number of layers using anchor point so how is this actually possible so I'll hide the green layer uh, before that let, let's delete the layer mask which is there here and then hide that layer now what you could see is the red layer uh, and then I just try to make it little bit more rough and also add uh, some height to that so that it's clearly seen and uh, I just wanted to use a different uh, texture I want some big gaps between them so I'll be using a different procedural texture what we have here so I'll take this one okay so I'll increase the tiles and then reduce the um, border width uh, so far it looks good and uh, I just wanted this bump uh, to be on the negative side okay positive is all uh, good so I'll keep it positive side like that this looks nice uh, and clean now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add here about this uh, anchor point okay how do I add that select the layer mask go to the add effect here and then just choose this add uh, anchor point so this is the anchor point its name is fill layer one mask so this can be referred in this particular layer for uh, look and feel I just try to make this uh, more metallic and I reduce the roughness so that it looks nice okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a mask to this okay so for that I go to a mask and in mask I'll add a fill okay so white is completely making it opaque black is making it transparent so I have nothing to do with that again so go to the gray scale and then choose anchor point choose that and you should be able to see whatever I have applied for this layer one everything is applied to the layer 2 
what happens with that let's say if i go to the layer one and adjust the tiles it will affect for both the layers okay um, but make sure that this layer is above that uh, i'll just try to bring it down okay and then let, let me try it it's working okay but actually it's not working it's only because it's the top layer so let me move it on the top and then refer it it, it should actually work and uh, that that's one condition you should generally apply but uh, you might be thinking okay i don't want this uh, green metal in the same area because it's just blocking and what's the use of this in that case you can go to this levels uh, sorry in the in the uh, gray scale of the fill you have the levels and then just say inward and then that becomes the reverse of it okay and uh, you can just uh, explore the effect there Uh, if you could able to see um, I just wanted to change the color to something like that and uh, I can uh, create one more layer on top of it okay here and then uh, try something uh, dark and then uh, make it uh, more rough okay and then layer mask and then apply a fill and in fill choose the anchor point again okay and that should apply it and then just invert it now you might be thinking where this uh, effect has gone it's there here don't worry okay or if i say invert it's there here so this layer can be actually now blurred so don't don't get confused the first layer is this uh, black and white image so red is the area again I've added this on the top so this layer which I've got I can add a filter about it, above it and I can blur this uh, okay using the blur tool and then blur it out you should be able to see that nice blur coming here like that uh, you can also uh, select this and invert if you want it and then try blurring it like that okay and uh, make sure that this layer uh, the arrangement is very important when you're do doing this thing okay so uh, whatever way you wanted it to be then you can generally create it that way and uh, create more complex details uh, into this particular image um, th that's how you you get that uh, painted effect and all so you need to just go and control your first layer and then the effect can be seen on all that particular tiles okay so only one layer tile is controlled and the top layers are just following it because they are uh, following the first layer through anchor point and uh, may, uh, remember that this will work only for uh, fill layer and fill effect only so that has to be taken care of